This is the first of three videos illustrating the Robert H. Scheichs, M.D. collection of medical artifacts pertaining to 19th and early 20th century medical practice, mainly in Colorado. Dr. Scheichs is a retired professor of pathology at the University of Colorado School of Medicine. He is the co-author of two books on the history of the medical school. He is also the author of the definitive and illustrated history of the practice of medicine in Colorado in the 19th and early 20th centuries, entitled Rocky Mountain Medicine. The Artifacts Collection includes extensive material on the daily practice of medicine, mountain, mining, and railroad medicine, infectious diseases and tuberculosis, pediatrics and OBGYN, medical and surgical instruments, quackery, mainstream and patent medicines, women in medicine, the University of Colorado Medical School, medical students and medical education, and large illustrated postcard collections of Colorado hospitals, drug and patent medicine advertisements, and humorous and whimsical medical scenarios in do involving doctors and patients. There is also miscellaneous, ephemeral, and unclassified material. Dr. Shikes, who because of his own medical issues has limited stamina, will demonstrate selected parts of his collection. These videos will give a reasonable sampling of the content and extent of the collection. The videos are not in any particular order, but explore the collection in random fashion. A photographic montage of samplings from the collection is also, uh, is also available on YouTube as Shikes Collection Photos. This supplements the videos and gives a better idea of the postcard collections. Now, on to the video of Shikes Collection 1. Is... All right. This is an original of uh, a year's worth, 1839, of this doctor's seeing slaves for medical reasons. And they're all described here and the, the uh, fee. Is this a Colorado doctor? Venereal disease. Yes. And uh, there are different stuff, remedies for venereal disease. Remedies or preventives. For gonorrhea, cleat, and other old terms that were used for venereal And on the bottom shelf, it looks like a phrenology. Phrenology, right, various parts of the head. And I guess the little and pamphlets on phrenology. And that's a child's uh, microscope set down below. Ah, okay, now. Items for inhaling. Yeah. So there would be a liquid in those pitchers. Uh-huh. And uh, they would be steamed. Yeah. The patient would inhale. These all have to do with antiseptic. And items which are like carbolic Sprays, acid. Sprays, carbolic acid, exactly. DDT, I see. Right. Yeah, okay. And these are miscellaneous. I'd have to look at them. Okay. These are various GYN and OB items. There's uh, extract of placenta, for example. Extract and, of placenta? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. So it was just, I mean, you know, all these weird things. Cap capsules, how, per how they were prepared, I don't know. But from okay. And below it that? It's like female troubles, ovarian sub substance, huh. et cetera, et cetera. And below that? And below that. It looks kind of interesting. Yeah, these are various electro inhalers similar to this. Uh huh. And uh, stuff that would be inhaled. Around here, you'll see a variety of quarantine signs. Can you see? Uh, uh, let me stop. There's let me stop. Steamers and atom atomizers and so on. I guess this shelf, the top one, I can't even see. Okay. These are inhalers of one kind or another. Okay. Steam vaporizer. Yeah. Uh, and to inhale various medicines that okay. are given in the form of steam. All right. And These are. This is all first aid. These are all first aid items from the early 20th century. The book books on how to do it, and first aid kits with all of the stuff that goes in. Okay. And so, you know what these are. And this is. Every, these are all items related to anesthesia. I see. And ether. So chloroform, ether. They're labeled. Uh, there are masks here that would be used. Uh, 
with a sponge soaked in whatever was being used mm -hmm. for anesthesia. Uh, and below that? And below that, this is a wonderful kit. It's a homeopathic set of medicines from Colorado. I forget which town in Colorado it's written on. I can't see it. And it's a set of medicines, homeopathic medicines. Okay. And, and below, below that? Below that are miscellaneous other things. And what's that uh, picture of the blonde lady there speaking of operations? Uh, on the shelf below that. The oh, oh, down there. Yes. That's a book, speaking of operations. Okay. And there's uh, an instrument there of some sort in yeah, the right corner. I, uh, I think Looks like an obstetric instrument, perhaps. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, Civil War amputation kit. Okay. Looks to be in very good condition. It's perfect. It's in pristine condition. And I will show you the plaque that's on it. I uh, hope these things don't fall out. They may. Yeah. Uh, do it. Uh, I'll put them back together. Anyway, on the top is a plaque. Yes. In metal. And it says, from the soldiers, I'm going to paraphrase, the soldiers of blah, blah, blah unit uh, to Dr. So-and-so with our thanks for his efforts on our behalf from the wounded soldiers on ward so-and-so, Buffalo Army Hospital. Whoa. It's Civil War. Uh, yes. And, uh, and and to the left to the left of that, what is, is this? It's a suturing set. A okay. Set of sutures of different sizes. Okay. And these are hospital, called hospital bullets. These are bite the bullets when they didn't have any anesthetics. Bullets were lead. So they actually did bite, bite the, the bullet. bullet. Yes. And they're lead, so you see the imprints of the teeth. Oh my goodness. On the, on the okay. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And the, the theme is all the same. Bleeding, cupping, and purging. I get it. What about the shelf below that? The shelf below that is that's also kind of miscellaneous. I've never really is a commemorative plate for the Jewish Hospital and Sanitarium in Spivak, Colorado, which was later incorporated into Denver ah. in later years. What about this print that's on the same shelf? That is Florence Sabin. And she was a uh, early woman doctor. She was from Denver. She went to medical school at Johns Hopkins, and uh, when she retired, she and her sister moved back to Denver and bought a house not far from where Cheryl lived. Three pull-out shelves in this doctor's bag, one on top, above the point, other. Point to them. Where, where are the shelves? There's one, ah. two, three. Okay. And each of these can be pulled out separately. And I don't think they contain anything. What's this shelf? This is uh, a pill maker. And they would put the stuff on here and in here, and then you would slice it into pill-sized. What about that satin doll-looking little thing? This yeah. is a baby's hot water bottle. Ah, okay. Suction apparatus uh, to get rid of fluid from the chest. So saddlebags containing uh, medicinal bottles, and they go over the back of the horse. I see. So when the doctor's making a house call or horse call, he would have these with him. Scope. You know, we go like this. Yes. Stethoscope heads of various types. Well, what century do you think? Uh, or? Well, 19th. 19th. This is a, the, the metal box and the model truck that uh, is in the box. And it's when Coors, the beer company, uh, when Prohibition came in, they had to switch and they switched to making malted milk. Okay. And that's what it says on the truck, malted milk, Coors malted milk. And these milk. bottles? 
Well, on that show? That's just some miscellaneous. Children's Maybe. Hospital for Hip Diseases. I'm guessing London or England. Yes. Woman medical student doing a dissection. That's right. 